which made me smile. Uh, <laughs> and the things which were perhaps not so good. <laughs> First of all, I would like to commend the other Angela because she gave a wonderful introduction to what was expected of table topic speakers and the advantage of doing table topics, which you will remember, so I won't repeat it, because I've got to get through five people. But I would just like you to give a little round of applause to them. <laughs> now, racing on, first up, Indra, a confident person, and unusually for Indra, he hardly did any hand clasping. This time he managed to do any. He was in his element talking about planning one's life. And the first thing he did was involve the audience. He spoke of David, his mentor, immediately involved David and involved all the rest of us because most of us know David and that's a very good thing to do. And also you sit up thinking, well maybe he's going to pick on me next. He used positive words like a balanced life. So well done to Indra. Then we moved on to Jo, a newcomer. And she was straight in, proudly, confidently, happily. She did momentarily do a bit of hand clasping. But very soon she was in her stride. And she told us very well about her recent holiday. Always a good thing to do if you've just come back from somewhere, talk about it. You're an expert, you know what to say. She smiled and she used the word amazing and two or three people used it but she was the first. So she did it well, she got the points, everyone else was copying her and got the negatives. <laughs> she was very visual. She talked about the Italians in their hats and their coats, and you could just envisage them walking along in their hats and coats. And then she talked about the British people enjoying the weather, and what they thought was hot weather, with their buckets and spades. <laughs> so that was visual. So, well done, Jo. Then we moved on to Mustafa. Mustafa was asked about choosing a holiday. Now, this time, we went on to a place we'd never, well, Perhaps everyone else certainly has been there, but I haven't been there. The Queen of Sheba. This was one of the most exciting speeches of the evening, something I didn't know anything about. And please come back and give us a complete speech on this, because I, I was really interested in that. The two Queens of Sheba. He had his hands at one point behind his back. Was he going to produce the Queen of Sheba? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, I look forward to hearing more about the, the Queen of Sheba. Um, after that, who did we have after that? Can someone tell me? We all have pin air on mic. Have Angela Langsford. Angela Langsford. Angela Langsford. It was me. Yeah. Was it? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> A surprise. Passion. That was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's have some feedback. It was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Very, very Thank you. Yeah. Yes? Fashionable. Oh. Excellent. Colourful. Yeah. Yeah. Turn the table yeah. topics on its head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I did was good that was, I was humorous. And if you can't answer the question, turn it round, don't be afraid. Then we went on to Pinal. Pinal, is that how you pronounce your name? Pinnell. Pinnell. Right, Pinnell. Pin it on the board, Pinnell. <laughs> what was the question? Once oh. when happens when my dreams materialise. Yes. yes, and he, again he was very visual. Excellent, always be visual. <laughs> he talked about bowler hats. And this symbolised being a banker. So we will always remember being a banker and Pinnell going into finance. He achieved his dream and he used positive words. Appreciate the journey. Then we, went, we finished with Mike. 
Mike, a good person to finish with because he's always extremely confident. He said charity starts at home. Warm feeling. And then of course he contradicts it. He then moves on to say we should go out and help the entire world. <laughs> and he gave us facts and family and facts. Someone in his family is a world famous dancer. She goes out and helps everybody in Africa. Brilliant story. And lovely words. Lovely prima ballerina and a little bit of audience reaction, as interaction as well, about putting your hand in your pocket. And he told us he wasn't going to ask us to do that, and then he ended up yeah. saying that. <laughs> Brilliant, bubble finish. Well done to everybody. And